Nope. Wrong. Nope. Gotcha. Hello? What kind of message is that? I'd better call Sophia. After it left Bongo's, it flew to Campo Santa Margarita. It landed right next to this place called Casa de Giochi. Casa de Giochi. You are sure? Yeah. Is something wrong? Casa de Giochi is a private club owned by Enrico Tazza. The police suspect that he fences stolen goods for big criminals like Leo Macchiano. If Bongo is working for the Phantom, perhaps Tazza is working for him too. Look around the Casa de Giochi, Nancy. Talk to Tazza if you can. Get on his good side. See how much you can find out without making him suspicious. Was the pigeon carrying a message? Yes, but all it says is hello in English, followed by an exclamation point. Hmm. There is a dot at the bottom of this exclamation point? Yeah? You must find a microscope and examine this dot, Nancy. If Fungo was sending a message to Tatsa, maybe it's hidden there. A microdot, of course. I'll do that. I'll find a microscope and take a look at it. If I do not hear from you, you will hear from me. Another package? I'm going to Boston know that I am very sorry if that American girl is about me. It was not my idea for her to stay here, believe me. Yikes, they're talking about me. I shouldn't listen. She doesn't bother me, nor me. In fact, I rather like her. But I'm going to anyway. This is because she spends most of her time on the roof bothering me. She's always up there looking through binoculars. She says she is bird watching. Bird watching? She doesn't strike me as a type. I'm a bit of a bird watcher myself. Just this morning I saw a flock of ibises near San Giorgio. I was trapped at a party once by a bird watcher named Red Knot. All he talked about was gross beaks and jungles and towies. I almost died of the boredom. Anyway, I apologize for the trouble she missed. If she bothers you, you tell me and I will tell her. Oh, she's fine. She's quite fine, actually. If you change your mind, you know where to find me. Hello, Nancy. Would it be okay if I used your microscope? I have a very strict policy when it comes to my equipment. No one touches it but me. And now, you. I trust you, Nancy. Please, be my guest. Oh, thank you. Examine the micro dot the pigeon was carrying. I sure have. The message, which was written in English, said, 
Il Dottore requests you to change the safe room lock combination to 43556. Il Dottore? Yes, which is really interesting because in his office, Fongo has a poster of Commedia dell'arte masks. He's crossed out all but five of the masks, and among the ones that aren't crossed out are the Brigella mask. The mask the Phantom wears. Right, and the mask for Il Dottore wasn't crossed out either. And it was in the middle, like it was more important than the others. And when I went back to the place where I'm staying, a box of chocolates had just been delivered for someone named Il Dottore, which means it's very possible that Il Dottore is one of the people at the Canos Costa. Perhaps Fango and the Phantom and whoever else they are working with are going by the names of Commedia dell'arte characters. This would make it easier to secretly communicate with each other. And is that true? Perhaps those chocolates are a message of some kind. And this Il Dottore was at the center of that poster you saw. Perhaps the person the message was meant for is the ringleader. Just what I was thinking. Here is what we will do. I will have a technician hide tracking devices in objects these people are likely to carry around with them. Then, when we know which of them is Il Dottore, we will activate the appropriate device and be able to follow him. Awesome! Let's see, Helena's always writing, so for her I could plant a bug in her pen, maybe. And Margarita is always sunning herself, so you could hide a bug for her in a sunglasses case. But for Colin... For Colin, you could bug a mosaic tile. You know, a tessera? He's likely to carry a mosaic tile on his person? If it's from me, he will. <laughs> Long story. This is good information, Nancy. I will have our technician prepare the two bugged objects and the device which she will hide in the pen, then leave them for you in the Banca del Oro ATM. You should give them to each person as soon as you get them. Will do. Keep your fingers crossed. My fingers are always crossed. Hello, Nancy. Do you know who that box of chocolates in the entryway is for? No, I didn't really look at it because I assumed it was for you. It's not? No, it's for someone named Il Dottore. Oh, I was afraid, I mean, I assumed they were from that locket fellow of yours. Il Dottore? Wonder who that could be? I came across this tessera and thought you might like it. It's quite beautiful. All the more because it came from you. Thank you, Nancy. I shall treasure it. What are you going to be for Carnivale this year? Working, that's what I'm going to be. I haven't been invited to any festivities, which is just as well because I detest costumes. So to Carnivale, I say, bah humbug. I need to get going. Cheerio!